Hello everyone, welcome to MITAS short video series. In this video, we will talk about abutment modeling. So as we know that an abutment structure goes bending in both the direction, that is why we will be using plate elements for this. So here you can see I'm having a model of a PSCI girder grid and there are four I girders placed in this banner. Now we need to create abutment at the both extreme ends. So for doing this, I will first use the hidden mode and we can translate the nodes first that can be used as a reference for plate creation. So I'm selecting these nodes and we can translate it at a distance with which we are having the abutment. So under the global Z, I'm copying it at minus four. Now we can create elements and the abutment using the plate element. So here we select the element type as plate and we can define the thickness of the plate element by going here, click on that and you can define the thickness for your plate element in this manner. Now we just need to select the nodes Here you can see the plate element has been defined. It is divided at the locations where nodes are present. Now I want to make more divisions for this. So I can just divide the elements. Select here planar element. And I want to divide it into three parts in the y direction. To check what is x direction, what is y, we can just check on the element local axis. So here you can see this is element local x is x and this is y. So I don't want to divide it into x just under the y I want three division and I just divide it in this manner. Now we can also create the piles from the bottom of it. So we'll use the extrude function. Select the pile section and the nodes from which the pile will extrude. So I'm having six meter depth for my pipes and I'm considering one element each in this manner. Now to copy these elements at the other end, we can just find the distance in the longitudinal direction of these nodes. So I'll select this node and select this node. So the distance is 23 meter. Now I'll copy the elements first, like select these elements that we need to copy. Translate. Now we can provide the boundary support conditions at the bottom. Assuming hard soil and the pick support at the bottom. And at these locations, we can just provide the, we can model the soil structure interaction. That is one of the important feature MIDA civil has. By using this integral bridge, select this pile spring. We need to give the different inputs of the corresponding soil type. And these are the soil properties that I'm giving. Now on the selected nodes, I can just click on apply. And even for these nodes. So in this way, we can just provide the support conditions. I want to delete this point spring at these from these nodes, so I'll activate them, select the nodes from 242 to 244, and by going under the support conditions, I'll delete this. So, yeah. so that is another 
way that how we can edit the nodes in the boundary condition using this part. I hope this video was helpful for you regarding the button only. See you in the next.